I get this question a lot from patients, you know, is it a problem those muscles are not working as hard? I need to exercise them more for the distance and the near. Um, in general, uh, with a natural lens inside the eye getting stiffer and stiffer, that's the main trouble. And it's because the lens becomes so stiff, it doesn't allow the muscles to move it forward and backward. So unfortunately, you can't do eye muscle exercises with a stiff lens and have it work beautifully for distance and near. When we do cataract surgery and use an accommodating or a flexible lens, then actually we do have our patients employ what are called pencil push-ups or exercises to move that lens forward and backward. And in our older patients in their 60s and 70s, oftentimes those muscles have been put to rest for so long that even the muscle exercises are hard to get those muscles that have atrophied back to moving that lens forward and backward. Therefore, typically in, in uh, my hands, I don't use a crystal lens or an accommodating lens in the much older population of cataract patients. I tend to use it in patients who may still have stronger muscles that have not atrophied, so patients in their 40s and 50s. When considering presbyopia correction, we really take great pains to talk with each individual patient about their lifestyle because it's very important. It can affect what is the best lens implant options. For example, monovision, if a patient really hasn't tested this out in contact lenses, it's not for everybody. Only about maybe 15 to 20% of the population can really get used to that difference, that distance and near vision. With an accommodating lens, it is a lens that uh, has your distance and more intermediate vision. So a patient who does a lot of computer work and um, doesn't necessarily need to have a, a reading true up close like newspaper print or smaller print reading, then the, multi, uh, the accommodating lens may work best for that patient. Also, an accommodating lens is a lens without any circles or prisms. So it does not cause any kind of circle effect around lights at night. In our patients, for example, commercial pilots, I've used the crystal lens a lot more frequently because a multifocal lens can give you a circle or ring effect around lights at night and the FAA does not allow us to use that kind of technology on pilots. So commercial pilots are a great uh, candidates for more of a crystal lens that can give you distance vision and your instrument panel or dashboard. Again, most of those patients still need to wear some reading glasses for the smaller print up close. Our happiest multifocal patients are patients that truly are looking for an ability to get out of glasses entirely, and they don't mind the idea of having a circle effect around lights at night. If I have a patient who's doing a lot of nighttime driving, and especially, for example, driving across the desert to Los Angeles in the middle of the night, um, then the nighttime driving around town typically is not affected by a multifocal lens. You can see clearly through the center there is again a circular effect around lights but it's not a glary halo and it does not prevent most people from doing their driving. So again a multifocal lens is really meant for people who are very motivated, who are not interested in having uh, reading glasses on all the time, and who might be bothered by an effect such as a monovision, one distance and one near. They're really looking for that freedom from having to wear glasses all the time.